Literary Babes and Badasses, it's Ethany and it is Friday which means it is First Impressions Friday here on my channel and today I have the Elfin Ally Oracle deck, I know it's very shiny up in here, um, <laughs> lights, um, by Kathy Crab. I have got her new deck, she has sent it to me to share with you all and we are going to explore this deck and get to know the Elfin Ally cards together. You can find everything about the beautiful work that Kathy has done in the description below. This is not the first time I have um, been sent one of her decks and I wanted to say thank you first of all for this beautiful gift. And let's swap over cameras and explore the Elfin Ally deck together. The Elfin Ally Oracle deck is here, as you know, because you've come over from my introduction by Kathy Crab. And uh, Kathy has sent me the guidebook via electronic PDF. So I know that there is no guidebook in this box. So if you do purchase anything from Kathy, know that you do get a PDF with the guidebook that you can print off yourself or just look it up and keep it electronically if you like to save the paper. This is a new deck that's come out in 2019 and it's the Elfin Ally Oracle. Rewild your elfin self-guided by your spirit animals and the fairy realm. You are an intuitive, creative being. Twinkle, trust, believe. Okay. Oh, it's a little square deck. So this is Game Crafter, you can see in there. So if you hate Game Crafter stuff. I just figure it comes as it comes and I've got to, you know, Oh, okay, so you don't need, you've got it on the back too. I didn't know that. So we've got keywords on the back there too. Oh dear. Um, one thing, I'm just saying idea because I don't like, um, I get it why people do it, but that's not my favorite thing to have. I hate it when US Game Systems does it, let alone an indie creator, not my jam arama. And then we also have her, Oh, I'm sure that's going to be on every one of them. Yeah, I don't mind that, the artist signing it, but uh, the backs I'm a little bit funny about. Okay, so we're going to go through the deck and I'm going to flip it over to see what we have. Sturgeon, keyword treasure. I actually think it's a shame, I'm going to say, um, because I really quite like the, the artwork, but the backs are kind of harsh in my, my, my buzz. Turtle, Sensuous, Monkey, Curious, Crow, I'm gonna, I'm just guessing at this, Raven, oh okay so we even have reversals which is interesting. Because I'm always saying it's interesting because if you place them face down, you'll know sort of straight away. I don't read reversals anyway, even with oracle cards or tarot. Giraffe. Shining. Butterfly. Subtle. Raccoon. Trash Panda! <laughs> I love raccoons. <laughs> friendly. Uh, yeah, I've met some very unfriendly <laughs> raccoons, but I, I do get it. I, I think they're cute as shit. I want to like cuddle them so much. Um, dog. Black dog. Togetherness. Interesting too, because black dog uh, for those of you... Is it the black dog? I think it is. In Australia, at least, there is... Uh, a book and a website about black dog being the way that people name um, their depression. So interesting. And then we even have that sort of call to the moon tarot card in that. Duck? Yep. Megan Duck, Sun Kissed. And this is cool, Dragonfly. Delight, yep, Dragonfly is definitely Bring delight. I'm gonna look at the back first. Back girl, subtle. Da na 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 na. Back girl. 
We're getting a bat girl. Is she bat girl or bat woman? With a rose? Ruby rose. Hen, well that's a cockerel. Rooster, surprise. Oh, I like this one a lot. Look at my little love birds. Togetherness. That's a foxy foxy. Kit fox, bright. That looks like a kookaburra, and if it's not, I'll be very surprised. Kingfisher, well, to be fair, kookaburras are kingfishers, awake. They are part of the kingfisher family. Owl, my favorite birdie. Oh, magic, magic. I think now owls, it goes owls, hummingbirds. Now, I love blanking hummingbirds. Another owl card. Owl heart, besties. I would like to be besties with an owl. Probably not very practical, but still. Deer. Beguiling. Rat or mouse, I'm saying that, I'm gonna say it's a rat. Mouse, well, I was wrong there, <laughs> mighty. Butterfly. Yellow butterfly, sweet. Moth. Imperial moth, mysterious. I like how it's like very specific. I'm just saying like moth, butterfly, but no, we're getting like very specific, which I really quite enjoy. Toad. Frog. <laughs> getting, getting so many of these wrong, I should stop. I should look at the back first. White egret, stately. Actually, you know what we're gonna do, just so this is a lot less frustrating for you probably watching this. I'm gonna do that. Tundra swan. Hummingbird. Gentle. Whooper swan. They can be quite the, uh, that's really pretty, I like that. They can be quite the vicious animals. Wolf, courage. Chipmunk, silly. Oh, I love chipmunks so hard, they're so cute. Crow, timely, so you have a crow and a raven, that's really cool. Otters, one of my favorite, shimmer. Oh, sweet little otter. Wait, wait. Dragon, beloved. Oh, that's cute. I like that. How it's in the egg. Catty did. Strange. Oh, it's a bug. Panda, auspicious. More oh, pandas. China fish, miracle. Robin, auspicious. It'd be really cool to use this with the um, animal magic work I'm doing at the moment, this deck. Small bat, tiny. Lots of different animals in here. How many cards is this? Doesn't say, a lot. There are a lot of cards in here. That's pretty cool. Barn owl, blessed. You can see my barn owl back there. It's gorgeous. Polar bear, spicy. Songbird, mystery. Dragonfly, longing. Oh, so one dragonfly is longing, two dragonflies are like joyful. Sandpiper, swirly. Falcon, wish. Blue heron, proud. You know exactly what to do. 
darn it, don't you forget it. It's a message for you today if you're watching. Grey squirrel, inventive, or oh, squirrel. They're also extraordinarily cute. We have lots of squirrels here. Flamingo, delight. Bluebird, awaken. Oh, so cute. Cheep, cheep. Whale, mighty, one of my favorite animals. It's a sperm whale there. My favorite animals on the planet is the whale of all of its shape and forms. Flying fish, free. Caterpillar, transformation. Chinchilla, magic. Oh, so cute. So as you can see, there is an elfin image. There's an elfy, elfin image, a, a fae image on each one of these cards. Jackrabbit Noble, and then their ally. So this is a really cool um, sort of expression of the connection between the seen and unseen. Um, you know, if you like fae work, which I absolutely 100% do, cockatoo, all seeing, then um, looks like a galah, then you will definitely really be drawn to this if you do artwork. If anyone's done artwork that is inspirational in the way of like spirit paintings, of nature paintings is what this really feels like. So it feels like Kathy went into a space where she was working with spirit quite a lot, possum, silly. And the connection and what she felt was coming out of these allyships. Dolphin, divine. I feel like this would be really fun to work with, as I was saying, with uh, animal magic. Ant eater, beloved, beloved, beloved. Seal, kindness. No, seal. Seahorse, beloved, another beloved card. Pink puss, love, kitty cat. Peacock, beneficent. Oh, that's gorgeous. And there are a lot of animals in here. As you can see, like you're getting a lot of work in this. Fast forward alligator, like the amount of work that has gone into creating all of these pieces of art. Meerkat, gypsy. You're going to be definitely getting oh, a lot of, uh, Kathy's put obviously a lot of love and work into this. Snail, moonbeam, oh, Wembley. Oh, I love that. I think you may have found my favorite card. I love snails. Thanks to Sarah. If you ever watch this, Fairy Sarah, I love you. Snow Goose Longing. Now I can't think of snails that I think you're Wembley. Snake Insistent. Ooh, that's cool. Oh, it's an alien looking ally there. Ooh, cool. Black Duck Fierce. So as I mentioned, you do get a PDF with all of Kathy's work. Oh, a spider. Circuitous. I squished one last night actually and it was right near my bed. I'm like, why are they always right near my bed? Seagull, freedom, I can't get near them. I can't, I'm arachnophobic so I had to go. Just squished it with a book. <laughs> Black Panther, stealthy, that they very much are. That's gorgeous too. Black swan, fanciful. Black swans are the animal of Western Australia. I like that it's square, I like that it's different. Oh, horse, graceful. Um, I like working with different decks with different shapes and different dimensions. It, it definitely makes things very, draws the eye when it's very different. Brown bear, believe. Oh, that's beautiful too. And Red Fox, another beloved card. So we've got quite a few beloved cards in there. Um, yeah, I quite like working with the different different sizes and shapes. 
As I mentioned, there were only a couple of things that I would have changed the border. I would have made black. Um, I feel like it's too busy and often doesn't do much for the art in it. Uh, you know, if that was black, it would really make the art pop and it wouldn't feel like it's clashing. Like that clashes a lot and it really distracts me. Um, that's just from a design perspective. And the back, uh, even though I don't mind messages on the back at all, I would have done another black border or had it black with white. Um, not keen on that design. That's just me, right? Maybe I'm picky. It's probably because I have unboxed over 150 on my channel. Shuffles really nicely. I don't mind the make playing card cardstock. It is what it is. It makes creating decks accessible for people. Honestly, it does. Not everyone can afford. I know how much it costs to get bulk things printed, so I understand that. Um, shuffles really well. I'm just doing a corner riffle shuffle with this. But those are my only sort of critiques of this deck. That it's everything else is great. Like the backs, I wouldn't I wouldn't have that either. But I said that right at the beginning. We got Kingfisher awake. So I will pop, as always, below the link to where you can support Kathy's work, purchase her decks, find out more about her. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.